all your base are belong to us. Other than collecting old games, I also like to collect a lot of old movies that you can see behind me. My favorite things to collect though are more obscure ones or just ones you don't see very often. I really enjoy going to Goodwills and old thrift stores to kind of look around, see what catches my eyes. Now that's exactly what happened when I found the one that we're looking at today. And it's called Toby Terrier and his video pals. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Again, his dog. Doctor? <laughs> This is actually a series of videos made by Tiger Electronics Inc., which is actually the same as that company that made those old, like, little launch toys and the handheld games, if you ever heard of those. And something else really cool is that the Toby Terrier was actually a toy made for kids a lot like Teddy Ruxpin. You see, what you did is you take your Toby Terrier toy, you put a cartridge in the bottom of him, and then, whenever you watch the movie, he would watch it with you and comment as if he's sitting there watching it in real time. Now, it's really hard to find those toys and the cartridges, and the one that I did find was, like, close to you know, 40 bucks, and I'm not paying that for something that's like going to be a one-off gag, so we're going to make one ourselves, because I mean, I know how to do this stuff. I, I've soldered a board once, and it didn't even work. I mean, look at this. Still broke. So I can do it. I got this. Day kids, we're going to make our own Toby Terrier toy. First, you want to take your red board Arduino and take that shit any way you can. Then you want to take your cartridge and fucking duct tape that on the body. That makes sense, right? Now you have your very own Toby Terrier doll. And here we go, the finished product. I know it's not a dog, but I programmed it to think it is one, and, and it should all work perfectly fine. Now this is a nice Arduino board. It's, 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 it works really well, so I'm going to hit this on button right here, so... Hey, Toby. Ah, I, I don't think that's right. The Adventure Plus videotape comes with a cartridge that will let your Toby puppies say lots of new and exciting things. You'll want to be sure to use the cartridge whenever you watch this special video. Yeah, I think we're going to have to skip out on the fun we could have with the Toby Terrier doll. <laughs> I'm just going to keep ignoring him and hopefully go away. Now, let's start the show. So this episode starts with Toby and the gang all getting ready for the episode. Then a little dog whose name I can't seem to remember comes in with a mail. There's only one letter and it's for Don, who's this dog here. Lotus says Don has to go to the vet, but he's scared of the vet because, you know, dogs don't you know, like the vet. Uh, he runs away and ends up hitting his head and stuff, and it's funny for the kids. It's funny. This brings us to the main point of the video. It's trying to teach kids that the doctors isn't scary and, you know, it's, it's fine to go there. And how would they teach this fact? Well, by making tons of jokes that kids won't understand. You mean he's... That's right, he's uninsured. <gasps> Anyways, moving the episode truly starting after a rocking intro that gets you pumped to watch some Toby Terrier. Yo, pooch, if you please. I'm talking about that canine saying. Well, scratch my fleas. Toby Terrier. He's the happening hound. Toby Terrier. And his video pal. Toby Terrier. He's on the air right now. Toby Terrier. With some serious bow wow wow. <laughs> we then see Toby telling the gang how Don doesn't want to go to the vet. So China can go, they do a bunch of sketches all about the doctors and how great of a place it is. This plays on the real meat of the episode. See, this show is actually kind of different from other educational shows. Instead of just, you know, going straight to the point or doing what Sesame Street would do and have them, you know, going through this whole thing, they do a bunch of sketches, and that's sort of how to pad out the episode, but the sketch is actually pretty interesting, and I'm sure kids would love them. The first show is a parody of medical dramas, you know, all the ones that you see everywhere, and, and after a very, very mediocre couple of dog pun. Mm. His nose is cold. Ah, oh, don't worry. That's normal for the breed. Dog tour. Mm. Do you know what's wrong with him? And we then get an original Star Trek series reference, which doesn't make sense. See, no kid is going to get it. Darn it! 
I'm a doctor, not a mind reader. After that, we then have a Richard Simmons parody, and for those of you who don't know who Richard Simmons is, he's actually a fitness instructor from the 80s. He was everywhere on television. He had DVDs, well, VHS at the time, obviously. You know, he was, you could buy him on VHS, on tapes, you could see him on TV. He was huge. After that, we go to a cooking show parody with a very, very creepy intro. I don't want to know the Muffin Man. No, no, I don't want to know the Muffin Man. We can skip over this because it just kind of talks about the basic food groups and all that nonsense. Next, we see a show parodying some sort of literature show from PBS for kids. I, I can't remember which one. I know that it was on PBS. And it was like this big thing where guys sat in a chair and tell them the stories and stuff, and they would act it out. But I just can't for the life of me remember which one it is. Uh, we can also skip over this one. They just tell a story of Jack and Jill, then throw him going into the doctors and a lawyer in there, and they sing a bit. Then there's a Bruce Lee parody for no reason. I, I don't know. Uh, and then <laughs> this one. I like this one. So it's a Life Alert parody. It's kind of, this is kind of funny. Help! Help! I have rolled over and I can't get up. Thank goodness there's Dog Alert, the dog safety system. We'll notify our highly qualified team of dog handlers who'll have you back on your paws in no time. So after this whole fake show that they've had in this entire time, it's called W-O-O-F, we then see Toby go to Dawn and ask him to go to the vet one more time. And of course he says no, so what do they do? They just bring a vet to him. He gets his checkup, and it's all fine, he realizes it's not as bad as it is. Everyone is happy. Except for that dog, because he's going to die in two days. Well, that was Toby Terry in his video palace, and there's only one thing on my mind at the scene. Now. <laughs> 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 